Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the oblique impact of a smooth sphere against a fixed plane. So, suppose you have a fixed plane. That is, this plane is immovable, and a sphere. It comes in this direction, strikes the surface with speed u. and it leaves the surface after collision the speed is v in this direction okay now let's say this is the normal at the point at which the sphere strikes the fixed surface okay now let's say this angle is alpha and this angle is beta okay now for the incoming sphere i can redraw this diagram as this is u this angle is alpha so that means this angle is will be alpha so if this is u this is alpha this will be u cos alpha and this will be u sin alpha so basically this u cos alpha is the component of u which is perpendicular to the surface and u sin alpha is the component of u parallel to the surface so this is parallel so u is the velocity of the sphere just before collision v is the velocity just after collision now similarly for this v this is beta so this is v this normal is beta so if this is v this is beta this will be v cos beta and this will be v sin beta okay so, uh, similarly this v cos beta is the component of velocity of the sphere which is perpendicular to the surface of impact so this is v cos beta is the perpendicular component v sin beta is the parallel component okay now the uh, component of velocities which are parallel to the surface they remains invariant during collision so that means there will not be any change in the parallel component so which are the parallel components this is one parallel component and this is another parallel component okay so let us equate the components so we have u sin alpha is equal to v sin beta there is no change in velocity component which are parallel to the surface of impact okay acha now there is a term called coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution now how do you define it it is defined as it is denoted by the symbol e so it is defined as the ratio of relative velocity of separation relative velocity of separation to relative velocity of approach okay so in this case relative velocity of separation so for separation you have to take the normal component of velocities so e can be written as relative velocity of separation so velocity of the ball after collision v cos beta v cos beta minus surface is at rest it is not moving divided by surface is at rest so zero minus uh velocity of the ball before collision u cos alpha so this is minus minus u cos alpha minus sign because downward direction is taken as negative downward direction of the ball 
all velocities in the upward directions are taken as positive. So this is equal to E. So this reduces to uh, V cos beta is equal to E u cos alpha. Okay. Now using these two relations, if you divide these two relations, we get we get tan beta is equal to tan alpha by E. Okay. Now if the sphere collides head on with the uh, hor this horizontal surface that is a head on collision for head on collision this value of alpha and beta will be 0 if the sphere comes like this alpha will be 0 beta will be 0 so if you substitute the value of alpha is equal to beta is equal to 0 degree okay so if alpha is equal to beta is equal to 0 degree in this expression cos 0 is 1 this is also 1 so you will have v is equal to u into e okay now for perfectly elastic collision for perfectly elastic collision what is the value of e coefficient of resolution is 1 for elastic collision okay so if you substitute the value as e equal to 1 what do you get we get see if e is equal to 1 we get <coughs> alpha is equal to beta that is if the collision is perfectly elastic this angle will be equal to this angle otherwise these two angles may not be equal so this is the concept of oblique impact of smooth sphere against a smooth plane